Thank you for this opportunity to present our work. I am Rad Sundaram from the CNT Application Research Center, AIST, Japan. In this talk, I will present our work on developing lightweight, homogeneously mixed heat and current stable copper carbon nanotube composite electric conductors. First, a bit of background. As you all know, the excellent electrical and thermal conductivities of copper makes it indispensable in all our electrical and electronic systems. However, there are issues. In electronic devices, copper interconnects fail due to electromigration and delamination arising from copper silicon CT mismatch. Copper wires add a, a lot of weight to our cars and planes, detrimental to fuel efficiencies and CO2 emission cuts. Our solution to these challenges posed by copper is to add lightweight CNTs with high electromigration resistance and low thermal expansion. Our group has worked on CUCNT composites for quite some time. Uh, previously, we made composites as uh, planar micro patterns and macro sheets uh, with a high CNT volume percent homogeneously mixed with copper. But we encountered two issues. One, how to make homogeneous composites as wires. The second, how to control microstructure and clarify structure versus property correlation. In this presentation, we addressed we have addressed both these is issues. About the first issue, we developed wire composites with copper uniformly mixed with high volume percent CNTs. Homogeneous mixing is seen along the wire length. With 45 volume percent nanotubes, the wire densities are around five grams per cc, which is around two thirds that of copper. So how did we make these composite wires. We made these homogeneous CUCNT wires by two-step copper electrodeposition of CNT wire templates. The first step is electrodeposition from an organic electrolyte that wets and infiltrates hydrophobic CNT wires and seeds copper within the wires. In the second step, we used a typical copper sulfate electrodeposition to grow the copper seeds. In this case, uh, as shown in this slide, we used array spun commercial multiple CNT wires as the starting material to make our composites. And uh, the process can be scaled to some extent uh, to make a spool of wires. Moving on to the second issue of exerting structural control and clarifying CUCNT structure versus performance. One aspect of composite structure is uh, the CNTCU mixing. Uh, we control the CNTCU mixing by tuning electrodeposition parameters and uh, choosing appropriate CNT wire templates. We made three types of uh, composite uh, structures with different levels of CNTCU mixing and internal copper filling. The first is the full mix structure where the CNTs and copper are completely mixed. 95 weight percent of copper is inside the wire. The second is the partial mix structure where the CNTs are mixed with discontinuous copper grains uh, with a copper outer coating only 43 weight percent of copper is inside the wire. Now the third structure is the no mix core sheath type of uh, samples where there is no CNTCU mixing in the bulk. 98 weight percent of copper is on the surface and only two weight percent is on the inside. So let's look at the performances. First, uh, the room temperature electrical conductivity versus mixing shows that uh, the CNTCU spatial distribution is vital for conductivity. The full mix samples show 100 times higher conductivity than the neat CNT wires. And also the full mix samples show the highest values among the three types of uh, CUCNT structures we prepared. If we look at 
the temperature dependence of uh, the conductance, the CUC and T wires show a different behavior in comparison to neat copper and neat C and T wires. And this behavior also changes with the mixing. In the case of metallic copper, as we can expect, conductance decreases with temperature. And in the case of neat CNT wires, the multi-wall wires, the conductance increases with temperature, which is typical to a semiconductor. The composite wires fall in between, taking in contributions from both the nanotubes and copper, but the level of mixing plays a role as we can see with increase in CUCNT mixing, the conductance versus temperature slope reduces and the conductance becomes more temperature stable. The temperature stability is expressed as a TCR, the temperature coefficient of resistance. Lower the TCR, the more temperature stable is the conductivity. And the full mix samples show the lowest TCR which is around 50% that of pure copper. The combination of high and temperature stable conductivity is quite important for some applications, especially where the wires get hot, like uh, motor windings or when wires are near aircraft or car engines. And uh, the CSUNT wires can be very promising for these kinds of application, applications. Next, if we look at the current stability, which is expressed as the current carrying capacity, here as well, we see that mixing is crucial and uh, the full mix wires show the highest current carrying capacity among the three structures we prepared. In fact, the full mix wires current carrying capacity is slightly better than that of copper and it is possible as hypothesized in other studies that the CNTs reduce copper electromigration. Next, we also consider the thermal expansion stability of our wires, which is also quite important for applications. The inherently low thermal expansion of the nanotubes is transferred to copper and offsets the copper expansion in composites. The CUC and T wires show lower CTs than copper. Once again, the CNTCU mixing uh, plays a very important role. As we can see, the full mix wires uh, show CTs similar to silicon and ceramics around 4 ppm per degree C, which is a 74% reduction versus copper. Whereas the partial and no mix uh, samples show only 47 and 8% CT reduction versus copper. So the full mix sample combines low CT, that is extremely high thermal expansion stability, lightweight coming from the high CNT volume percent, the wire form, as well as temperature stable, high electrical conductivity. And such materials are needed for fatigue crack resistant ceramic insulated motorway windings near aircraft engines, which get pretty hot. Next, for practical applications, we also consider the tensile robustness of our wires, the full mix wires once again show the maximum performances in terms of strength among the three structures. The full mix wires are as strong as commercial annealed copper wires, even without any heat treatment. Besides uh, CNTCU mixing, other structural aspects can affect the composite performances like the CNT structure, the metallicity, the alignment, the copper structure, and of course, the CNT CU interface. And we have tried to explore some of these aspects. In the next slides, I will present our results on the effect of nanotube structure, individual nanotube structure, and uh, the interface, CNT CU interface on the composite performances. First, uh, we try to assess the composite performances versus the nanotube attributes. For this, we fabricated composites with different CNT attributes. Uh, we made uh, composite pillars with the two nanometer diameter single wall aligned CNTs running end to end with a low G by D. G by D is a measure of crystallity, as you all know. 
And uh, these uh, pillar structures are actually geared towards through Silicon VR applications. And uh, you might have heard more about this from my colleague, Dr. Gohai Shen. The other sample that we prepared uh, for the CNT attributes effect on CUCD performance is uh, copper single wall CNT wire composites. And uh, in these composites, the nanotubes have a network structure. That is, there are many ends and uh, junctions. And the CNTs have a higher crystallinity, seen as a high G by D ratio. Plus, the wire composites shows good CNTCU mixing. However, there are also many voids. And uh, we looked at the performances. And this slide pre presents the performances of uh, the composites with various CNT attributes. Despite the voids, the single wall uh, CNT copper composites show better electrical con conductivity and better temperature stability in terms of TCR than the multi-wall CNT CU wires. The electrical conductivity is of the same order of magnitude as that of copper. And the TCR is only 13% of copper. Similarly, the pillar structures uh, show competitive electrical conductivities as well as TCR. These results indicate that the composite performance is affected by the individual nanotube structure. And uh, we might say that higher crystallinity and fewer end single wall nanotubes might be beneficial for composite performances. Next, we try to assess the composite performance by including an oxygen interface. Uh, this is intended to improve the C and T C U interactions. As you all know, copper and CNTs don't like each other. They don't easily wet each other because of the surface energy differences. And uh, including an oxygen interface can improve the wetting. However, does it improve electrical performances? We set out to test this. We tested this using film composites. We optimally oxidized CNT films using mild ozone gas exposure and made the composites. At an optimal carbon to oxygen atomic ratio, we in fact did see an increase in the electrical conductivity and its temperature stability. If we see the SEM images, uh, they show better wetting in composites with the oxygen interface. So the oxygen interface is beneficial for both wetting and the electrical performances of the composites. Before concluding, a word on the future of this field. Uh, CUCNT research is very rich with opportunities. Research questions fall into three categories. One is the why. Why composites perform the way they do? Uh, the mechanistic aspects of CUC and performances remain open to be pursued. And uh, this can be quite interesting for the field and for all of us as researchers. The second question is how to improve performances. That is how to tailor beneficial structures reliably in actual samples. And this leads to the third question, what? What are the beneficial structures in terms of CNTs, copper, and the interface? We will need to find answers to these questions to design composites with rivaling performances. And uh, here are our take home messages. We fabricated practically applicable CUCNT composites as wires and uh, through silicon via structures. The composites are lighter than copper with uniform mixing. The CUCNT performances rival that of copper in terms of electrical conductivity, heat, mechanical, and current stabilities. The CUCNT mixing, individual nanotube structure, and the interface determine the composite performances. And finally, the CUCD field has several open questions and has a very rich potential.
Finally, I would like to thank all my coworkers and advisors for their support and thank you all for your attention. If you have any questions, I will be happy to discuss. Thank you.